They are the couple who have proved that love can overcome any barriers. Shane Burko, uh, who was born with severe muscular disease, and his able-bodied girlfriend, Hannah, have made headlines around the world shedding lights in uh, inter-abled relationships. They appeared on This Morning last year to tell us how they coped with constant prejudice. There is this misconception that, that people can't understand what's going on here. Uh, they think that Hannah is your, your carer or your sister, or at worst, as we said in the introduction, your mother. I think there's a pretty uh, widespread uh, misperception about disability in society. People with disabilities are often seen as less than. Um, and so the idea that someone with a disability like me would be dating this intelligent, beautiful, able-bodied woman is mind-blowing to some people, and it shouldn't be, but we get all kinds of ridiculous uh, feedback from people. Mm, well, they're back with us today, and they have got some exciting news to share with us, and it's lovely to see the pair of you, and we'll come to that Hi. in just a moment. But just remind everybody, if they hadn't seen the interview last time, how you both met. Yeah, Go so ahead. we met about five years ago now, almost. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, after I saw a documentary that one of my favorite actors made about Shane. Um, and he had a nonprofit that he was running and a blog that was popular. So I was looking at that and I decided to email him, which is a very strange thing to do, I feel like. Probably the best email I've ever gotten uh, because it ultimately uh -huh. led to us being so. <laughs> So, uh, so you got the uh, got the email, and uh, and Hannah, you were surprised that he replied straight away because you figured that he'd be getting loads and loads of uh, emails. And um, and as far as you're concerned, Shane, the one thing that you know you thought, oh, this is, could be something a bit different because Hannah didn't even mention your disability. She was just interested in you and what you had as a connection. Exactly, that was something that really stood out to me. I get a lot of emails from the work that I do, and so many of them are like, wow, you're so funny, even though you're in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And that's just an odd way of thinking about it. And that just talked about our mutual interests and um, the things that we have in common. So it really stood out to me. Well, you sort of spend your life really breaking down these stigmas that are attached with disability. And you say that one of the most damaging stigmas is that people think that if you are in a wheelchair or if you have a disability, that you are totally incapable or, or unworthy of any sort of romantic relationship, which clearly you are living proof of that is just not the case. Yeah, and it's not just me. Um, it, we know thousands yeah. of uh, other couples where disability is involved. So it's just not as uncommon as people might think it is. Are you surprised that stigma is still there even? You think that where we are today and as we sit here, that people would still think like that? Oh, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. it surprises us every day how much stigma there is. Yeah, definitely. It is, ex it is extraordinary that, mm. um, and you say that people can be remarkably cruel. They just can't see it right in front of their faces. They prefer to see something else. It's easier for their heads, perhaps, to see something else. I guess that's it. I mean, we have often thought that when we eventually got married and told the world on our YouTube channel, we thought that might put an end to all the ignorance and the naysayers, no. but it really just ignited their uh, passion for telling us how uh, fake we are. <laughs> well, we know you're not, and we know that it is a fantastic relationship. So, uh, so tell us, um, tell us about the you know, the, um, the 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 engagement and how it all happened and what you did. Yeah. So the engagement um, was wow, like a, a year ago. Yeah. yeah, a year and a half ago. And uh, I planned it for the day that Hannah graduated from university. Um, and so all of her family and friends were in the area, and uh, I popped the question that night. Yeah. Um, and we just got married about three weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, and, you, and this wasn't the original date that you were planning to get married, of course. Worldwide pandemic, you have to make changes, and you were going to wait until afterwards when you could have everybody around you, but you, you didn't want to wait. You wanted to be husband and wife. Exactly, yeah. We didn't want to wait a year, so we did a a wedding over Zoom, which was interesting. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was wonderful and we loved it. But next year, we're going to celebrate with all of our family. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's lovely. And the thing is that... And there uh, we go, that's a great picture. Oh, that's such a lovely picture. We, um, 
we love the, the your uh, YouTube channel <laughs> is uh, is uh, so helpful on every level for so many people around the world. And you're very open. You're very honest um, on every area of your relationship. So much so that I, I don't feel uncomfortable in saying that um, children are being discussed are potentially on the horizon because you have a very active sex life as well. <laughs> we have talked about that in videos, yeah, yes. Yeah, very active. I love that way of uh, <laughs> describing it. Yeah, but we did let our, um, our subscribers know that we are beginning the process of planning for children, and yeah. that might be a year, two, three-year process, but we started. <laughs> Great. Yeah, well, that's well, good to know. And the other thing that I, I saw this morning, you say this is something that's perpetuated by the media, is uh, when you hear the phrase, confined to a wheelchair. Yeah, it's a phrase that we have spoken about many times. Um, it's this idea that wheelchairs are restrictive, uh, and that's just the stigma about disability again. But my wheelchair is, it gives me so much freedom, and independence, and so wheelchairs need to be thought of in a you know a more positive way. Mm, well, um, you know, by by talking about it, by posting your clips on YouTube, you continue to break down that stigma purely by just being in love, which is so lovely. And I know together you are writing a book to document this even further. Yeah, right now we're working on a book where we are interviewing about thirty other couples where one has a disability or both have disabilities. So we're about halfway through that. It's taking a while uh, to turn all the interviews into, you know, meaningful chapters, but it's been really fun. Yeah, it's been great meeting all the couples and seeing just the beauty in all of these different relationships. Well, it's uh, always a pleasure to talk to you both. Congratulations. Well done, you too. Uh, lots of love and, uh, and thank you for talking to us again. I look forward to the next announcement when we see you next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More of us maybe next time. <laughs> that would be nice.